Hello and welcome to Pilgrims to the Premier League episode 19, a Football Manager 2021 series here on Boston United FM. We took over Boston United in National League North with the solitary aim of reaching the top level. This is season three after we secured promotion last year. In the last episode, we smashed York City 5-0 in the National League playoff semi-final with striker Oscar Fawn scoring all five. However, after being reduced to 10 men just after half-time, we gave away a 1-0 lead in the playoff final to Solihull Moors, who scored the winner on 88 minutes. We still have one more game to play, and that is today, a second successive FA Trophy final, this time against Oldham Athletic. Oldham finished the league season in eighth, missing out on the playoffs by two points. We've been forced into quite a few changes today. After the red card against Solihull, Reese Bennett is suspended and has to miss out. Adam Curry deputises in what will probably be his final appearance for the club. Young fullback Jordan Roberts starts at left back, having made three starts already in the competition for us this season. Ryan Bevan returns to the midfield after completing his suspension at the expense of Regan Griffiths, who has dropped to the bench. Kane Felix is cup-tied, and Duncan Watmore will play on the left as an inside forward in what will only be his second start for the club. Hopefully, we can end this season with some silverware. Back to Wembley we go. Hopefully we can duplicate what Hartlepool did last year. They beat us on penalties in the final and then went on to win the league the very next season. Winning the National League next season is very much on the agenda for us. Let's pump them up. Go out there and impress me. We've got a tunnel interview. Managed to give ourselves a great platform. Memorable journey so far. We're going to see the teams. So they're playing a 4-2-3-1 as well. And we're matching them up man for man. We stroll out at Wembley yet again. Second game in a row. Second year in a row for the FA Trophy. So let's get the match underway. Free kick with Bevan goes far post. There's Arthur, but his shot is weak. And he was offside anyway. Luco to take a corner. And the header from Cartwright has just gone over. Throw in for Oldham. Borthwick Jackson takes it, gives it to Burrows. He's cut inside. He gets it back, but for Levy heads it over. Just before the break, Oddenston with a throw gets it back again, gives it to Gibbs. There's Bevan across to Roberts. He's advancing. Is he going to get a shot away? No, he gives it to Watmore, but his shot is blocked. Back to Bevan, to Arthur. Through for Davies. He's at the post. And that was the last action of the half. Pretty uneventful until right at the end when we do hit the upright. But we've just got to keep going, really. Let's get the lads pumped up again. If we can get a goal, I make us favourites to win. Absolutely. If we go 1-0 up in the second half, we should hopefully hold on. We've definitely been hard to beat in the second half of the season. Right up until that playoff final when we conceded a goal on the 88th minute. Which was really unlucky. But back to today. Let's get out there for the second half. Oldham goal kick. Picked up by Roberts. He's launched it back for four and he's through on goal. Keeper saves it and he's hit the post from a, such a narrow angle. We're going forward again with Davies, but Borthwick Jackson clears it. Oldham with a throw on the left, but we do get it clear. Now Spence is coming forward, running past his man into the area. Can he get a cross in? He's gone down, but no penalty. Oldham now have the ball on the left, but we do grab it back again with Spence. He gives it to Eiffel, who's just come on. There's four, and he's hit the post again. Four 
throw in down the left for Oldham. They get the ball in, but it's blocked. Free kick now for Oldham. Cross goes in, and I think they've hit the bar, and they've put the rebound in. Ben Garrity has given Oldham the lead with just seven minutes remaining. Before the danger was over when they hit the post. Oh, keeper actually saved it. It's a very good save, but the rebound has been put in. 1-0 to Oldham. We've got a late free kick. Goes to the far post, but it's cleared. Oldham now trying to break away and absolutely seal it. Four rows is through, but hits the side netting. We're bringing it forward with Ifill. Is he going to have a shot? He is, but Hamilton saves it. And for the second successive Saturday and the second successive year, we've lost out at Wembley. This time to a late goal by Oldham as they pick up the trophy. Such a good end to the season in terms of the league. Unbeaten from the beginning of January onwards. But we've lost the last two games of the season. Stick my hands on my hips. Unlucky boys. I thought we played pretty well. But they nicked the goal with seven minutes to go. And we couldn't quite force an equaliser. Broadcast interview post-match. It's definitely disappointing. But as the interviewer says, we did hit the woodwork three times. In pretty quick succession. Especially Fawn. He hit the right-hand post, and then the left-hand post within a few minutes. And Oldham do indeed lift the FA Trophy. Davies picked up an injury, but it was only a bruised ankle. And again, we get just over £31,000 for losing in the final. But unfortunately, the season ends with two red dots right at the bottom there as we lose out in the National League playoff final and the FA Trophy final. Maybe we're not quite cut out for finals at the moment. We need to sit back, take stock, see which players are going to leave over the summer, see which ones we can bring in. I know we have a couple of players on loan with us whose contracts with their parent clubs are expiring. So there's definitely interest on our side to make them permanent transfers at the end of those contracts. But over the last few weeks, we have secured quite a few of the side for contracts next year, even though we didn't really know whether we was going to be in the National League or League Two. So we've definitely got a strong nucleus of the side. We just need to add maybe that little bit of extra quality. We did have the best defence in the league, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. Maybe just some extra bodies for strength in depth. But we'll see in the next episode, which will be early on in Season 4. If you've enjoyed the content of this episode, please don't forget to leave a like. And for more videos, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.